Nancy. It's so un-American to say if you have nothing to hide, you, you should answer every question about every business deal. This guy owns a commercial real estate property. He has medical companies. Yes, he was. He, the, there was a fine for the Medicaid fraud. He paid that fine. Is that so? No, this no, no. Is I don't think thing? I don't think we're going there, Nancy. No, no. Stephen, the, I'll, it's not the Medicaid fine. I think we're, we just want to know how you raise forty-five million dollars for a building, six million dollars for two other buildings, and five million cash for this building in a very, very short well, period well, of time. I, I wanted to address something Ms. Skinner said, which is important. It's not that they have something to hide. It's that they have come out and said, our goal is to build bridges. That is the reason for this mosque, right. that they have done nothing to do that. If you want to build bridges, transparency should be the name of the game here. And when they've been given the opportunity to condemn people, to build bridges, to say, yeah, we don't we don't want anything to do with Hamas. Well, what they about have it? not yeah. came out yeah. and made the right wrong. statements. They have wrong. burnt bridges what's, and built bridges with the wrong people. He what, has, what's wrong? He has routinely, he has repeated said uh, that Hamas, uh, it, it, they are a political organization and they're a terrorist organization. They are both. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Let's give him a medal guys. then. I hope, I hope my control room's with me here. I want to go to uh, WABC full screen. Can I do that? Can we pull that up here real quick, guys? I'm going to read it. WABC, can we do this? It's coming. Here we go. Okay. Uh, the question was, is Hamas a terrorist organization? And the answer was from this Mr. Uh, Imam Rauf. I'm not a politician. I try to avoid uh, uh, the issues. Uh, the issues of terrorism is very complex uh, question. And um, I'm a bridge builder. And that's where bridge builder gets uh, quoted all over the place. But the problem, mm -hmm. Nancy, is you just said he says Hamas terrorism. No, he doesn't. He clarified it on his website after this interview. He clarified what he meant to say. So, uh, you know. So he said, I condemn Hamas as a Nancy, terrorist organization. A I have no, I he do said not it's them. both a political organization and it has a terrorist and condemn them. organization. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he condemn them? Hamas. That is not the issue here. Yeah. The well, Imam it certainly is, David. Here. It most yeah. certainly is. Issues. Christians, Jews on that board. You've got the mayor of New York City, the governor of New York. They are all saying the same thing. This guy is a The governor of New builder. York is trying to move the mosque because the governor of New York, who I'm, I rarely side with, actually has the foresight and sensitivity to realize that people don't want it there. Hold on, guys. We are somehow allowing religious why intolerance is it, here. Uh, Suppose I say all it? Jews should leave New York. Leave New York, Jews. How are we Can allowing you allowing intolerance? How? By, by fostering a debate? A That's America. A single religion. You are singling out a religion. How about we say Mormons? Out. How about we say Jews? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, out. stop. How about I don't, that? Who said out? <laughs> Who you said, said move out because of that location. Say, we I don't said want a Muslim, move. I didn't say move out. We don't want out. a Muslim temple said, in near ground 9-11. We don't want, they didn't say we don't want a terrorist, uh, 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 what do you call it? They said a Muslim. These are Muslims. You are well, trying to equate Hang on, guys. Hang on. We have, we have two more guests. I want to bring them in right now. Joining us now, Reverend Chloe Breyer, director of the Interfaith Center uh, of New York and friend of Daisy Khan, the imam's wife. And also joining us is Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. Reverend, I'm going to start with you. Um, I've been asking a lot of questions uh, into the proposed mosque. Am I? I've been, I've been accused of this, and I'm telling you I'm not. Do you perceive me, Eric Bowling, host of Money Rocks, as an Islamophobic because I'm bringing these questions up, or am I simply raising the questions that need answers to? I think that term Islamophobic is not particularly productive. I do want to challenge your characterization, though, of uh, this mosque and community center, which I, as you mentioned, I direct something called the Interfaith Center of New York, which works with about uh, hundreds of grassroots religious leaders from 16 different faith traditions on uh, assuming that they all care about raising their children well. And that while we differ so much on faith traditions, what we share in common is a desire to have this world be a better place for uh, the children that we bring up to, into it. And huh? that for that reason, we um, have had uh, Imam Faisal and his wife, who for decades have been co committed to interfaith dialogue, and um, we okay. have them on our board of directors. And uh, and that's just, it doesn't quite address Re your Reverend, question. Thank you very, no, no, but thank you very much. I'm still waiting to hear if I'm an Islamophobe or not. You'll, we'll get to that, though. But let me bring in Scott Stringer, Manhattan <laughs> Borough President. Go ahead, Scott. Where do you stand on this? Am I an Islamophobe if I simply say a token, a gesture, a symbol of peace, an olive branch, if you will, move the mosque a block? I'm not saying get out of Manhattan. Well, I, I don't want to characterize you. I don't know you that well. It's clear, though, that you're a ratings hound, and this is obviously <laughs> this kind of debate uh, serves you personally very well, as it does your friends like Sarah Palin and Newt Gingrich. 
But that's between I, you I, and no, your I gotta, God. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. You asked the I question. I just want to humbly. I just want to humbly. Allow me to just. You. May, may I just? You know, you accuse me Please. of being a rating hound. Here's what we do. Here's what we do on television. We inform you. We try to inform you, but we also try and do it in a way that entertains you as well. It just so happens this topic, no matter where well, you me, are, on TV. Wait. When on you TV, think wait, is wait, 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 one second. On TV or off, in a bar, in a restaurant, people are talking about this. Therefore, we will too. Oh, no, there, so there, go ahead. There, there's, there's no question about it. So in answer to your question about what I think, it's very easy. The people in my community, the people I represent as Manhattan Borough President, are discussing this. And we're having a rational debate. And there are people who feel strongly that the mosque or the cultural center, however you want to describe it, should move. Some people say two blocks, some people say six blocks, some people say 14 blocks. Uh, that debate is happening. What concerns me is not the New York City debate, it's what's happening around the country. That we are jitting people up. We are having the kind of debate that is crossing the line and creating dangerous situations. Mm -hmm. oh, hang in there, you two. Uh, you don't need to go. Let me finish. Don't do this tonight. If you let me speak, then I will provide you with better with better ratings and a real conversation. You have been speaking. Hold on, guys. Now I'm going to bring the panel in. Essie, you ready to go? Yeah. Respond. Look, being an American means that you can't cross a line in a debate. And all we're doing right now is having Please a healthy conversation. Don't lecture conversation. me about what it means to don't be an American. Don't lecture me because Come you on. represent me, sir. Come on. I live in Manhattan. I live five blocks from ground zero. You have no business telling me what I think or what I can say or how far I the can go. The kind of Joe McCarthy discussion that's going on. Oh, there we go. Let's talk Joe McCarthy. Yeah, Come on, guys. Right. One at a time. I'm serious. Okay, go ahead, uh, David. Uh, the borough president is absolutely right because what he's talking about is you're singling out a religion. It goes back to what I was saying earlier. If you want to talk about zoning laws, let's have at it. You want to talk about whether it's appropriate to have a church right across the street from Ground Zero, let's have at it. But you want to talk about Muslim faith as somehow un-American, that's what's un-American. No one's having that conversation. Hang on, I want, to go to, I want to go to the Reverend. Is the debate about Muslim uh, the whole faith or is the debate about this one exact location, Reverend? I'm actually reminded of a debate that was happening about uh, over 100 years ago here, just a couple blocks from what's now Ground Zero, when old St. Patrick's, the first Roman Catholic right. cathedral, was being attacked by angry mobs of right. people crying, mm -hmm. Papist, you are uh, uh, beholden to a foreign power. Right. What Your religion is different than any other religion Amen, in, this, Reverend. In, this, uh, in this city because you are, you're, you're listening to the Pope and you don't care about our Constitution and that's dangerous. That's what people were saying in this city a couple hundred, right. you know, just, just back in the, you know, 1835 well, when that attack happened lessons on yeah, right. so Hold on. Hey, 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 I got a question for you. No, no, so, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, guys. We have to keep control. Go ahead, Stephen. Respond to that. Thank you. I appreciate it. First off, this is just another example of you guys trying to shut off dialogue, whether it's Islamophobia, homophobia, racism in the Tea Party. Uh, you can't talk about a religion. We're talking about a religious institution right now and revered Imam, and I don't appreciate you telling that this debate is crossing the line and taking nine minutes to make your point because you speak with a slower cadence and then interrupting everybody to tell us that we shouldn't be debating this. Hang on, guys. Go ahead, Nancy. So the question is, what do you want? I mean, it would, all of a sudden, if they move this mosque or if it doesn't get built, what, what does that do for your your side of this debate? Well, my side is the American better? side of this debate. Oh, because we were all oh, oh, oh. not an American. You better get out of here. I, You're not an American. So I, didn't, I, didn't <laughs> say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm trying American to say that. I am trying to say that 9-11 so happened to all Americans. You guys are so quick to be the thought police you know, here. I really, Scott, I really, I really Scott wish. Last all word. America Scott is I just find it amazing. I just find it amazing that you're trying to out-American Americans. No, you guys are. American and believe in religious freedom. That's as American. The people you guys who live are in New York City, and I'm proud of our city. Scott, we are all Scott, America. There Scott are no sides Stringer, of this. Scott, Even the Muslims. Reverend yes, Chloe Bryant. Right. Scott Stringer. Thank you for joining us. When we.